everybody, welcome back, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I'm going to be doing a red on a half shell on the barbecue grill, and I'm going to do things a little different. I'm going to do it, um, not your normal fish, because, you know, I'm going to use Grub Rub. This is my main base of seasoning. I want it not to taste like fish, right? So I'm not really into fish. Um... I'm also be adding a little lemon pepper on it. Fiesta seasoning, Uncle Chris steak seasoning, gourmet steak seasoning. If you don't know this, you're missing out. Put on everything. I put it on eggs. I put it on scrambled eggs. I put it on steaks. I put it on burgers. I put it on my fish. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. Um, if you have minced garlic, diced garlic, you know you like garlic, real garlicky stuff. Well, you know, throw some garlic on there. Uh, it's not, and I'm going to throw some butter in it too. So, I did it on a half shell. Probably like my fourth or fifth time doing red on a half shell. Uh, did sheephead, speckle trout, and even did a whiting just to see what's up. We're going to toss it together, give it an ice bath. I, I, I bled it. I cut the red line out. Uh, remove the red line out of the meat because I don't want any of that fishing taste. I don't want fish. That's gonna taste like fish, and it's 26 inches, so I know they kind of get little. You know, they get a little gamey. The bigger the reds get, the bigger the red drums get. So I'm gonna eliminate that out. But um, after that, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it. I'm gonna pat this dry, put some olive oil on it, and then get ready for the grill. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to season this up just a little bit. I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil on there. So I'm going to pour some on my spoon and just kind of drizzle it a little bit. And then I just want it to go into all the little crevices and, and cuts that I made, the scores that I made in the meat. I don't want it everywhere. If you have a brush, a brush helps better, but I kind of Neanderthal things a lot, you know, just kind of caveman it up, if you will. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go light with the garlic powder. I don't want it like too garlicky. If you're like into garlic and, uh, and you want to put the cloves or something a little thicker or something a little heavier, more little garlic garlic flavoring you can um, the thing the important thing is is to get your seasoning in these scores you want them in there a little bit and when whenever I put butter on here and the butter starts melting that's gonna help a lot that's really gonna get the seasoning down in there now like I said I've done specks this way sheep head this way way speckle trout well, that's fixing it. And now this is, this is what I want. This is a nice thick serving. And I'm going to really try to get it this, this grub rub in those scores. And you could pick this up at Kroger, H-E-B. If you have a bar barbecue seasoning or rub that you like to use, then I would suggest to use that. I'm really going to, and I'm going to move this more into... A lot of those, a lot of these these cool cuts that I made, these cores that I made in the meat, I'm moving it more, a lot more into that when I put the butter on. Award-winning grub rub. Then I'm gonna put some of this squeezable butter all in here. I'm gonna go get the grill ready first. Then I'm gonna put some squeezable squeeze squeezable butter all in here. Typically, what I do is that I'll I'll get the butter and put it in little cubes and just put it all in here. But I'm gonna try this. This is something different. Um, I hope this helps. <laughs> I hope this helps the mess a little bit, uh, make it a little easier on me. But yeah, we're gonna go get the pit together, and we're gonna come back and, and put this on the grill. All 
all right so we have the pit the fire everything is ready to roll out there we're gonna put some butter on the uh we're gonna put some butter on the red and then we're gonna slap it on the grill it's gonna be real quick it's probably gonna take like maybe seven minutes at at the most Maybe 10 because these are a little thicker fillets, but really probably between four to seven minutes, really. Uh, it's kind of what, what I experienced in the past. Let's squeeze a little bit and let's see how this goes. This is really my first time using this butter. Maybe I should have left it out a little longer so it can squeeze a little easier. I'm not too sure, but we're going to try squeezing some. Again, this is my first time. Oh, yeah, and that comes out. That comes out wonderful. Oh, yep. And I'm just going to I'm gonna rub it all in there, like get in that stuff right this is so healthy for you <laughs> not really you know all this butter I'm gonna get all in there and then we're gonna make like a little bit of butter and and lime sauce too um to even butter this red up just a little more and what this shell is gonna do it's gonna hold the seasoning and flavoring all in so the meat of the fish Actually, we'll cook in this butter, cook in the seasoning, and it's really going to lock the flavor in. I mean, this grub rub, this seasoning, and you can use like any seasoning you want to use. Whatever you use on fish, you can use it on, on, on the fish that you want. You know, use what you want. Use what you want. If you want paprika on here, put paprika on here. You want um, zatarins, you want some other kind of uh, fish seasoning. Um, use what use what you like, you know, there's no wrong way to do anything if you're cooking fish if you're feeding your family Then you're doing it right. So you want to add like I said you want to add garlic cloves mint diced garlic whatever, you know Use it use what you know use what you know um, If you're new to the game and you haven't prepared fish this way are you not used to making fish well this is <clears throat> You know, maybe this is just a good starting point for yourself. Okay, let me try cooking like this. Let me try cooking like that. And using the grill, you know, using that charcoal grill. Kingsford charcoal. I don't like mesquite. Uh, my wife doesn't really like mesquite. I mean, mesquite's okay, but my wife wife really doesn't like mesquite. So I just get like the plain Kingsford. Kingsford charcoal has probably in the last over 20 years of me grilling and using the pit and using the grill. Is really like the best charcoal that I've ever come come across. So I and, and you know it's not super expensive. You know you don't need a pellet grill. You don't need a gas grill to cook for yourself. Cook for your family. I've even used those little tabletop little charcoal grills. Uh, I like I like something that on the bottom where you can adjust the air temperature as it comes in. Uh, in, in a case like today where it's a little windy, uh, typically if you don't have that adjustment. And you can't close it off then sometimes it can make the fire really hot and it could burn your food a lot faster on the outside than on the inside or it can do the complete opposite if you don't have any circulation going in there it could really kill your fire out so using that chimney starter is like the best thing that i've ever started and i've been doing that for like well over 20 years is using that chimney starter but yeah, yeah let's let's get this on the grill um let's get this back outside so basically what, what you really need is you need a little spatula it's going to help you Take the fish off the shell whenever it's ready to come off. You need a little, got a little bit of rain coming. You need a little bit, you need some like tongs like this. This, you can check the actual check your fish if it's done using this. Or you can use any kind of thermometer. And basically what I'm going to do is just leave this on this foil and slide it on the pit. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep the grill clean. Alright, so we got the fish in there, it's cooking, and like I said, it's not going to take long, maybe 7, 10 minutes because they're a little thicker. But yeah, I got it cooking, cooking in all of that butter, olive oil, seasoning, it is going to we'll close this up, uh, give it a few more minutes.
All right, so you know it kind of got crazy out there. The neighbors are doing a little remodeling. The dog is barking. Had to do a little voiceover, but you know this is the finished product. Um, you know I'm gonna remove the skin on the bottom because it caramel caramelizes a little bit, and I I don't like the texture. So I'm gonna peel off the skin of the fish on the bottom, and uh, it's real easy to come off. Uh, you saw that the clean. There's really nothing to the cleanup. Um, the the foil kind of catches all the dirt and, and all the mess. Um, not all the dirt, but all the mess. So there's really a little cleanup. Uh, the grill stayed clean. I'm going to get the grill dirty here because I'm getting ready to throw some steaks on there now. Um, so I take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, make butter with some limes or lemons, but I like using limes. So you squeeze that a little bit, drizzle that on top of the fish. Warm up some tortillas, make some tortillas. You can throw bell pepper in there. You can throw onions, tomatoes, whatever whatever your heart desires. Um, you can throw whatever you want, coleslaw, whatever you feel like, and make yourself some shrimp uh, fish tacos, red fish tacos on the half show. I'm going to taste it. haven't tasted it yet, so let's taste it. We're going to taste it without the butter sauce. So, you know, you saw how easy it was to cook. I mean, look at that. This, this meat is just nice white meat and... Uh, Man, that's really good. That grub rub on top of it almost caramelizes a little bit on top of the meat. Give it gives it a nice, just a real nice golden look. Man, it is good. It's outstanding. If you haven't made fish on a half shell, take it from somebody that doesn't eat fish. But uh I'm starting now. Starting a little bit now. So, hey, I hope you appreciate this little video. Catch, cook, clean, grill, whatever you want to call it. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. And uh, I'm going to start making some steaks. So, I might throw a little bit of steak grilling footage for my Patreon. So, if you're interested in joining Patreon, you want some extra content, extra footage, fishing reports, fishing, more fishing insight, go over to Patreon. Link in the description section of this video and every video. And until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up and maybe you might catch me grilling up. Thanks.